briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A legal tussle between Stanley Neuter and his former employer, Battelle Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, unfolded in 2000, heard by the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. The lawsuit centered on allegations of wrongful termination, discrimination, and retaliation brought forward by Neuter against his ex-employer. During the commotion, a discovery decision was challenged, a pivotal process that would determine which documents are admissible as evidence in court. This decision, originally made by Magistrate Judge Alan Kay, involved sifting through numerous documents, determining which were shielded by the attorney-client privilege, a legal provision that generally protects certain communications between a client and their attorney. At the heart of the controversy was counsel David Meistus. Playing an integral role in Battelle's Advisory Performance Assessment Review Committee, PARC, he was accused of a conflict of interest. Neuter's camp argued that the committee, and by extension, Meistus, primarily existed to terminate his employment, disguising the act as a business decision. In contrast, Battelle maintained that Meistus provided essential legal advice, and hence any correspondence was privileged. The court, upholding Magistrate Judge Kay's initial decision, affirmed that most documents were either privileged or non-privileged, barring document number 524, which necessitated a reevaluation. In a twist, the court declared that documents 751 and 942 were only partially privileged and must have the privileged sections redacted prior to release. Importantly, the court clarified how the attorney-client privilege might be waived, either explicitly or implicitly, additionally noting that this privilege could be pierced if certain stringent criteria were met. The evidence should be relevant, material, and unable to be procured by less intrusive means. Crucially, however, neither the crime fraud exception nor the attorney-client privilege for Battelle were determined to have been waived as Neuter's team failed to prove the necessity, relevance, and materiality of the documents. With the privileged and non-privileged communications considered separable, the court also dismissed the application of the Fairness Doctrine, throwing another spanner in Neuter's legal machinery. The ruling underscored the significance of the attorney-client privilege in legal proceedings while balancing complex exceptions and ethical considerations. This intricate case serves as a stark reminder of the critical role of the discovery process and the often fine line between business and legal advice. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.